Hi there. So in this video, we will take a look at data structure in our programming language. So we are going to take a look at vector, sequence, matrix, array, list, and factors. So let's start with vector. So in order to get vector, use V, then concatenation, then we type in number from 1 to 4. Okay, in order to print vector, we simply use name of that vector and we get the data. Similarly, if we want to create a vector from a sequence, then we use S, then concat, or you can simply go from 1 to let's say 6. Now, if I want to print that sequence, I simply use name of that sequence and hit enter. Okay, now what if I want to use matrix? In such case, I'll make use of M as my matrix variable name. Then matrix, inside that method, type in data equals to value from 1 to 6 then end row to specify number of rows then also n column equals to 3 so 3 by 2 and we hit enter now to print that out I'll simply use name of that matrix and here it is so we have two rows and three columns and values from 1 to 6 are there Okay, again note that how the value is going from 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6. So you can get the idea how the flow for value goes when we add data into this matrix. Okay, now what if I want to create an array? In such case, simply use let's say A, then concatenation, or you can go for array method directly. That would be much easier then use data from let's say 1 to 8 and then you can use dimension from let's say 2 by 2 by 2 okay now what if I want to print it out simply use a and it will print it out and you get the idea how your array is be represented right here okay now let's take a look at list simply create one variable with name list then call for list method and then start from initial header true then 1l then let's say I want to have float value and then string so that's my list and I want to print that out and here you see it has header as true then value for 1 then 2.4 4 and finally string now now you can see there is one more data type that I want to discuss which is factors basically if you have learned numeration in C then you can get the idea for factors Simply type in factors, then call for factor, and here I want to use, let's say, male, then female, then let's say again male, then female. Okay, now let's take a look at how the labels for these factors are done simply use labels and then factors here you see female and male so that's how this numeration type works in our programming language so so far what we have looked at is vector sequence matrix array list and finally factors 
Okay, so this was a short video on different type of data structures in R.